<laughs> hey YouTube, quick video, just checking in. I'm doing great, well not great, but I'm doing better than what I was. I had to go to the emergency room, uh, maybe la yeah, last week, spike in, in blood pressure, so my blood pressure had got to 191 over I think it was 110, yeah, something like that. And I had been trying to get it down most of the day, but 1.30 at night, I knew I was in trouble. So, dial 911, they came and took uh, the blood pressure with their machine and calibrated mine, and mine was on time. So, we went on to the emergency room. But, you know, emergency room is totally different now. Get in the emergency room, there are very few chairs in the waiting room, and nobody's there. And the ambulance, the stretcher, I went on back in the back, and they gave me some morphine and stuff to get the pain down. And I came on back home. It didn't take but a couple of hours. And I, I came on back home, and my blood pressure finally went down. But in, in, I'm in, whenever I'm in a pain crisis, that's what happens, a blood pressure spike. So. Come to find out, I was taking my medication wrong. They took me off the fentanyl patch and they put me on another, mm, some kind of, it's still an opiate patch, but I was reading it wrong. It said, <laughs> it said to leave the patch on for seven days, apply patch for seven days, and then take it off for seven days. And I just assumed, well, if you put it on for seven days, then you take it off, and then seven days after that, you put put it back on. Oh, I had it totally wrong. No wonder I was hurting. Pain management doctor, she just laughed because we did the video conference thing. And she said, Miss 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 you no wonder you're hurting because you're going through withdrawals from the fentanyl to this patch. And then the MS doctor gave me some kind of anti seizure medication to help with the nerve pain and. I was just telling my sister, I said, you know, I haven't heard from my faithful voice in a while. And she said, well, maybe, you know, you're not getting around and you don't need to hear it. But last night I was getting ready to take one of these nerve pills. And this sweet voice says, you better read the instructions, uh, the side effects again. And I have a conversation with myself and I said, well, I already read it. And this voice, my voice says, read it again. And I looked at it and I complained. I said, I can't see it. And the voice still coaxing me and it says, put the bottle up under the lamp so you can see what it says. And I said, okay. And I put it up under the lamp and I could see. In another paragraph on the bottle, it says, may cause mood swings or and depression be sure to call your doctor if you notice these changes and i said i be that's why i've been having these crying spells and just oh just the the worst feeling doom and gloom and i was blaming it on the uh covid virus and me taking this medication and making me have a uh what you call it depression so i i quit taking that i hadn't thrown them out but i'm gonna recycle them back to the pharmacy but you know you have to be careful even though you're supposed to read the whole thing sometimes you assume that you're doing it right and this stuff was making me uh depressed and so i got all the medication straightened out and i know how to do my pain patch the the, the right way i like these they stick on better than the fentanyl patch so I think we in business now get rid of some of this pain because pain management wasn't even taking my call. I had been calling them for over a week and used to get a voice recording. And they finally called me and we did a video chat and she said they could do uh, an injection on me on the 13th of May. And I'm looking forward to that to get rid of some of this pain. I can take these injections every three months so i haven't had one in six months so i'm good i'm good again i was just calling not calling i was making a video
to check in. I hope everybody's feeling good and blessed. And this this is not gonna last always. You know, they say sing a song long time ago, trouble on I'm so glad trouble don't last always. Oh my lord, it don't last always. This too shall pass and just gotta ride it out. Nothing you can do but try to stay safe and keep your uh, distance from people. But we'll make it. (laughs) I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.